Oh, battery's dead. That's a new battery! Is it stuck? That's bull <laughs> Now it's gonna sound like a race truck. Crank this old dooley up. All right, while Russell's down there working on the exhaust, okay. exhaust that they welded the bands on to the uh I'm cutting headers. it off with a Dremel tool, by God. All right, I've been working on trying to get this interior ready so we can uh, create the bottom pieces of the door panel. Here, let me just show you. All right, so when I got this truck, it didn't have this lower uh, carpet piece. Yeah, it's, in there. it's in there, huh? So, I'll grab the carpet piece from that brown truck up there and measured the distance of the back door and it's like 26 inches and I just kind of measured this out and cut a little piece out of cardboard so that way I can take this piece and transfer it to this uh what is this this is I can't remember what size this is freaking paneling type stuff and that way we can build and put the foam Golly, Russell, be quiet. I can put some, we can put foam on here, goes the foam on it, and then we're gonna take our fabric. All right, these are our door panels, and this is the fabric that we're gonna use. We're probably gonna try this on the bottom lower panels, just like it looks right here, and then we're also gonna use it in this little section right here. And then if everything works out, we'll probably do the headliner like that as well. So y'all stay, stay tuned, and hopefully we'll have some progress for you. All right, I got my template, trace it onto this board, now it's time to cut it out. All right, so now I've got these front doors cut out. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, angle grinder and trim them up. I'm gonna take the DA and finish them off. So let's do that now. Russell, what are we doing? I'm trying to figure out how to do this exhaust because it's all hanging below the frame and it's crooked and it's shooting towards the ground and I don't want to load it up too much on the headers and so, I feel like I'm just going to have to start over. <laughs> well, that's basically... Well, not start over, just do my own version. Well, I that's do this basically what we're uh, doing to the whole truck almost. I know, I know. I just uh, want it to be right. I mean, as right as I can make it anyway. Right? So we gotta go to the exhaust place? I think so. I'm gonna have to do some layout and then we'll figure it out. Come on with it. Come on, it's so nice out. Got a cold front coming in. It's about to rain. Ah. Dude, it feels so good in here. I'm like a filly out Dude, there in the field crazy. feeling it. I want to run around and frolic right now. Know, it feels so good. I don't know about no frolicking and running around, but... I do. I oh, want, I want to frolic. Did I get that on camera? Oh. Dude, that was crazy. Sparks just came flying down. Sparks? Sparks, yes. I missed that. Yeah, dude, it was this power line. It went... Whoosh. What could have hit it? Like some leaves? I don't know, dude. It was a lot of sparks. I didn't see any sparks. Yeah, it looked like a dang firework. Man, it feels so so good. It does feel so good. Golly. All right, so this is gonna be our interior uh, like accent pieces. This material right here. We're gonna foam it and we're gonna put it onto this board that I've cut out. So what I'm doing right now is just making a test spot. So I'm gonna use some of this 3M 
general trim adhesive and try a test spot to make sure we don't have any bleed through on this uh, fabric right here. Then everything's gonna hold and everything's gonna be all right. So let's do that now. See, it's a little wet right there, but it'll probably dry good. We're gonna see. I think I can stand them up like that, buddy. Sure you don't wanna put them sideways? Well, if I put them sideways, they're gonna be hanging way down here. Unless I put them up like that, but then I'm gonna have to bend some tubing. Ah. But if I stand them up. We're good to go. I can put my front hanger here, my rear hanger here, and come straight in. Well, that sounds like a plan, man. Where's my tappy measure? Your right tap there. measure's right there, man. Can you hold something besides the camera? Hold your breath, baby. All right, I'm holding it. I just need a ballpark figure, like the Franks, 18 inches. Let's see if this other one's the same. Yeah, two 18s. So we can cut 18 inches on the, the pipe? Yeah. The exhaust tubing? Yeah. Hey, I can get that. Kicking these mufflers up a little higher so they're not hanging below the frame rails in the back. Ah, we just got, got back from the JR muffler and they made these little pieces for us so we can kick it up. Now you're chopping it up. All right, so I tried this earlier and it was okay on the blue side the way I glued it. But on the white, it bled through, the glue bled through. So if you watch our TikTok videos, you will see a video where we were trying a couple of things. Russell tried to just glue the edges. And that worked. And then we just laid down the foam and glued the foam and then laid the fabric on top of it. And that works really well too because that way you don't get any bleed, bleed through. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start working on the door panels, like the little insert piece. I'm gonna start taking those out of this truck. Start getting ready to glue those pieces on. We'll do that now. We've already done this side. This is our back door panels. And it had, I guess they like glue, uh, melted it to where this would stick to it and it's gonna leave, it's gonna be rough. So I need to smooth it out. So on the grinder, I've got a piece of Scotch Brite and I'm just going over it and cleaning it up. Safety first. You almost done with the exhaust? Yeah, I'm welding in a cross member. All right. Can you hear me? I can hear you, and your face is super dirty today. <laughs> All right. That means I did something. Yeah. My face is clean as a whistle. But I've been working on all this right here. I've been cutting these uh, replacement pieces. This board right here was a little bit uh, not straight. It had all these bends in it. So I went to Hobby Lobby and got some poster board. This $3.99. Or this is mounting board, mounting board. Let me get you a close up, y'all can see what we're using. That right there. And I just traced it out, traced it out with a marker and then uh, used a razor blade and uh, these scissors right here and made the, remade it. So now I'm about to glue it together 
and then we'll glue the foam to it. Alrighty, just bringing y'all along as we continue to work on this truck. Russell, your exhaust is almost done. This is exhausting. <laughs> hey, that looks so good. What are you doing down there, buddy? Yeah, I'm showing off this pretty exhaust that you welded up. I'm fitting to weld it up. Oh, it's not welded up yet? It's just tacked up. Ah. Now we gotta drop it out, pull these cross members, drop the whole thing out, weld it up, put it back in for the last time. You gonna take it off at the bands up there? Sir, yes sir. At the bands up? Yes sir. Taking the whole exhaust out? Yes sir, cause it comes, it all comes apart at the band at the end of the headers. Yeah, yeah for sure. All right, well, I hope you do that. I'm gonna need your help. That's what I said, I'll help you do it. <laughs> Works, man. You did a good job, Russell. How do you right. feel about that exhaust you worked hard on? Good. And uh, I put a pretty good load on that carrier band cross member just in. Yeah? Yep, feel good about that. Now we just gotta clean up all these wires under the hood and put the gauge cluster in. That's the main mechanical stuff left. I'm gonna do this stuff, but I gotta get pieces for this and it's not gonna stop. We gotta us get a new radio, right? Road. Yeah. Do we have one? We've got one, but I wanna look at the one in the Tahoe and see what kind of shape it's in. Oh, okay. Other than that, it's just pretty parts, interior and things like that. Yeah, I've got uh we gotta go get some more of those uh we gotta get those clamps or uh, little clips. push ins, yeah. We'll push in clips and put those pieces I made up on the doors and drill them and yes, sir. foam them and yes sir. Yes, sir. Hey, all sorts of stuff. Yes, sir. Seat co see, uh, carpet and seats. Yes, sir. Seat covers are shipped. Yes, sir. Everything's on the way. This truck is gonna be coming together really soon. Some panel alignment. Are you gonna? Uh, yeah, look at that body line. I'm fixing that, bro. I know a guy. You do? I was wondering who we were gonna call. Ghostbusters. No, we're gonna call damn uh, Russell McClendon. He's here. 